The challenges that uh, we've had in the beginning um, had to do with the mentality of our people. As with many other MFIs, our operation was oriented towards lending. And liquidity, that was something that no one was thinking about. It was, you know, some, some guys at the headquarters uh, problem and, and nobody knew about it. So we had to bring people from outside of the bank to do the training. And some of these people that we brought as trainers were the ones that uh, actually stayed as branch managers, as uh, people in charge of uh, savings and CDs at the branch level. Actually, we also made a mix there because usually in Banco Sol, our branch managers came from the lending side. These were people that in the beginning were loan officers that moved up and uh, ended up being uh, branch managers. And so we changed that. We had a, a mix. Some of the branch managers actually came from savings. And so their mentality was a little different. And so at the branch level, you were not only uh, caring, looking at the uh, lending numbers, but also at the deposit side. You know, if you do that every day, if you have a conversation with the people at the branch level and you're talking about deposits, deposits, deposits all the time, then people get into that. But we had to do that at uh, the different levels of the organization. It wasn't only at the branch level. It had to grow all the way into the headquarter office. And as I mentioned before, we were fortunate enough to have people with the backgrounds that, you know, uh, cared about deposits. And then the other thing that comes when you start mobilizing deposits is that your priorities change within the organization. When you get money from multilaterals and from international investors, then if if something happens with the bank, then they are the ones actually going to be losing their money. But uh, if you're mobilizing deposits from poor people, uh, $500, $100, then you got to make sure that you're lending in the best way possible because you want to make sure that you're going to be able to repay to those people that trusted you. So the priority of the whole organization today is different if you compare it with 15 years ago. So now the first priority is the depositor. Make sure that he gets his money back. And then come the rest. In terms of incentives, uh, at the branch level, um, we still have a very significant weight on the lending side. But the branch manager has also an incentive regarding deposits and also banking services, what we call services. And that would be debit cards, remittances, collecting of uh, the payments of utilities and so on. These are basically fee-based transactions, but it also adds value uh, because you already have the branch in there, uh, you have the tellers, and so why not make a better use of all that infrastructure? But I would say the uh, incentives go up to the branch level uh, to the branch manager and to the person in charge of collecting savings. Um, but again, I would say that uh, around 65% uh, of the incentive is based on lending. Here's some advice to some uh, organizations that uh, might be willing uh, to mobilize deposits. I think that the first thing is to understand the market. Uh, because sometimes we look at commercial banks and we want to take those products and we just want to throw them into the market without really knowing that this is what the market wants. So product design is key. Second, training of your people. Making sure that they understand how important it is to be able to fund your uh, lending operation from deposits. Because the essence of, of microfinance and the essence of, of Banco Sol is to improve uh, the quality of living of the clients that you're serving. If you want to do that, then you want to make sure that you're not only lending to them, but you're also taking care of the other needs, and that is basically deposits, which in a way represent uh, money that they are saving for emergencies, for um, being able to educate their children. And that's part also of a whole program that you would have to develop with them, teaching them why it is important to save. Then uh, I would say that uh, the organization itself has to be very clear about uh, returns on 
your, your saving side. Sometimes uh, shareholders, board members think that uh, you're going to be making money out of savings. And uh, savings is actually a mean to do your business of lending. And uh, I've, I've had experiences of some uh, board members that ask you how much you're getting you know, out, of, out of your savings. And it's very difficult to measure the return on investment on savings. And so, you know, the whole, the whole organization has to be very much uh, tuned into uh, what mobilizing uh, deposits represents. The other thing that implies deposit mobilization has to do with branches and with your whole model. We are used to having just regular branches and to open from 9 to 5 and, and, and that's it. If you're going to be very active in the market, you have to be a little bit different from the rest of your competitors. Then part of our strategy had to do also with designing new means of reaching our customers. And that was basically mobile branches, cell phones, ATMs, and these other mini branches, correspondent banks that I mentioned already. We are always asked the uh, question of uh, costs. And um, after some years of experience in, 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 in Banco Sol of mobilizing deposits, we have some very interesting uh, figures. Um, a human uh, teller transaction in Banco Sol today costs around $3.5. Uh, the mobile phone transactions are going for around 10 cents and an ATM is going for around $1. So in the mix, what we are trying to do is to reduce costs altogether and of course to be able to, uh, in that sense, if, if we can actually reduce the total cost of the operation, what we want to do is to, re to reduce the interest rate uh, for lending uh, for, for our customers.